So the Internet of Things is a fascinating um, set of technologies. Imagine the world as an electronic skin where different parts of the skin are being stitched together by sensors and actuators. So these are all very broadly classified as you know, semiconductor chips in an integrated circuit. And uh, what the IoT really needs for this to thrive is the prices of these components will rapidly go down. And that's exactly what's been happening in the last five years. The prices of sensors and actuators have rapidly declined because technology makes it feasible to uh, you know, produce more at a lower cost. And, and that decline in prices and, and the increasing density of sensors and actuators in a given you know, square millimeter is making the IoT more and more a reality. So, so the Internet of Things is a world where every device is talking to each other, literally talking to each other and connected. So my refrigerator, for example, knows when I'm running out of fresh fruits and vegetables and on the way back from work, it's going to make a phone call on my cell phone and remind me to go to get my groceries done. Or my washing machine will know exactly how much uh, you know, powder it needs and it's not going to be wasting any extra powder, it's going to be efficient. The air conditioner in my home is going to be smart and turn on and turn off based on the ambient temperature and the lighting outside. So we're talking about a highly efficient and smart and intelligent world where devices are don't need that level of manual intervention so they're able to figure this out themselves so um, yes there's a lot of you know consumer facing benefits and again um, you know from that there are companies who are now trying to figure out you know by integrating our usage of these devices and the data that's coming out of it they get a much more granular picture of our preferences and our behavior which then makes them engage with us even better okay? so going beyond the mobile device now we are talking about our daily usage of electronic devices and white goods and that's more data for them right and so again this data is going to be invaluable for them to uh, you know, better target and better offer us with curated products. Beyond the consumer facing benefits of IoT, there are immense benefits to companies, for example, by improving efficiencies in supply chain. Uh, or for example, imagine, you know, the health of a product. So uh, think about agriculture, the time from when fruits and vegetables are produced in the farm to the time when they actually reach the retail store, that's a pretty long supply chain, it's a long time period. As of today, we don't have the technology yet to fully precisely figure out you know, when a produce goes stale. And oftentimes, 40% of the world's food is wasted just because we are not able to figure out what the right timing of shipment of those produce should have been. With Internet of Things and sensors and actuators, you know, every container, every ship, every truck that transports the fruits and, and vegetables, for example, will have real-time sensors emitting real-time data back to the warehouses and telling the uh, relevant personnel, you know, how fresh the food is and when it's likely to go stale. If it's likely to go stale, the truck and the fleeting company should change the direction of travel and go to the nearby retail store instead of driving three more days. So again, we're talking about 40% of the food being wasted in this industry and IoT can pretty much stimmy and nullify that process.